Hey guys, this is Welshy from Welshy Tech. This is a new video I'm doing right now. This is, is SSD worth it? Now, I've done benchmarks before with NVMe SSDs, hard drives. Go check them out. The links for those will be in the video. But this time, we're going to take a more in-depth look at is an ssd worth it now with the amount of different options you've got these days m.2 m, m uh, nvme you've got you know you've got proper pci nvme you've got um ssds you've got you can even do it with ram these days it's mad it's crazy hard drives it's the amount of stuff portable hard drives portable ssds portables Portable NVMEs, which are possible because this one by here is a Western Digital Blue 500 gig M.2 SSD. Now, I got an adapter for this for it to go into external, so I can put this on, blah blah blah, done. You know, you can transfer files, you get the same megabyte refre uh, refresh re uh, reads and writes on this you get 560 reads and 530 writes now it's a little tiny bit i think it's a couple of read and writes down the most i got out of this i think it was like 500 something like that so what i'm gonna do for this this is just gonna be a video is ssds worth it now it's not gonna be performance because i've done loads of them i've done about three four videos on ssds nvmes and hard drives now i'm i can't keep doing the same content if you guys ain't gonna watch it now this is just gonna be an impartial video of is an ssd worth it now the thing with ssds is when hard drives were around the fastest hard drives you could get was the 10,000 RPM Velociraptors. They were the fastest hard drive back in the day. Now you're talking 10 years ago. SSDs have been here since 2009, maybe 2008, even before that. They've been here for ages, clearly over a decade. Now, when SSDs came onto the market, the best thing about SSDs were, was the read and write speeds. Now, the problem with the SSDs back then was the prices. Because of NAND flash, with the prices to manufacture NAND flash back then was so expensive, the prices were just astronomical. I mean, just to get a 60 gig SSD was like £300 over in the UK. And over in America, you're talking four, five hundred dollars for a 60 gig SSD. Now, these days, you can get a 500 gig SSD for less than £60. Which is nuts, considering that 10 years ago, they were nearly 300 to 400 pound in the UK. Now, are they worth it? Yes, obviously they're worth it. But with the amount of options, hard drives, for capacity, they are still the king from back then to today. They're still the king. Yes, SSDs are definitely, definitely getting there. I mean, they've got 12 terabyte, they've got 20 terabyte, uh, no, 12 terabyte SSDs, they've got 4, they've got 8, they've got 6 terabytes. But the thing with hard drives is the capacities. I mean, you've got 15 terabyte hard drives from Western Digital. Even Seagate have got 15 terabyte hard drives. Which even Linus Tech Tips has even featured in his own video when he was doing the petabyte project. Not the first one, the one when he... Had the latest one he did, the one where he said he's almost out of space. He had about 20 terabytes left on his 982 terabyte petabyte st server. I mean, a petabyte. Wow, it's nuts, it's crazy. Just the fact of a, te a petabyte. Now, is an SSD worth it? Yes, for boot games, for boot for, for boot speeds, everything is worth it. But NVMe is definitely getting there. NVMe is going to beat it soon with capacities. It's going to beat it. It's the way of the future. It's the way things are going to go. Now, the thing you've got to realise is SSDs will still be here 10, 10 years from now. But they might be smaller. They might be, there'll be a lot bigger capacities. Hard drives. I believe, personally, hard drives will still be here in 10 years time even 20 years time i still think it until we can get 
where the cloud services you've got now get bigger and bigger and bigger servers lower the prices i don't think hard drives and ssds are going to go especially for server cases especially for rack mount cases servers people who do live streams youtube video rendering even movies people who do movies got their own certain you know render farms you know they've got massive server racks of this stuff with like 28 28 core xeon processors like 120 gig s uh, hard uh, ram and then they've got ssds they've got hard drives and they use that to build everything now the biggest ssd farm in the world at the moment is in canada now i'm not 100 percent sure if it's in canada i know that there's one that is one big one in canada which linus tech tips has featured on his channel but the thing you've got to realize is ssds now worth it for the price yes but at the moment nan flash and the, the stuff they use to make ram and ssds the prices are slowly going up because the the, the materials they're getting the, the run alone materials now i'd say the best time to get an ssd would be this year by next year you would i reckon personal opinion i reckon the price is going to be double so for 500 gig ssd would be under 60 pound i reckon it'll be up to 120 by next year that's what i personally think this is personal research i've searched on youtube facebook google everything now thing you've got to realize is while the prices go up and up and up yeah the price has gone down really really low sorry oh, oh. really really low this year the, the, the lowest i mean i picked this up for 59 pound 59 pound for a 500 gig m.2 drive m.2 when the m.2s came back out you're talking double the price for a 500 gig 500 gig for 59.99 in overclockers.co.uk now i believe ssds are worth it let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video this is just me giving a bit of a, a rant and stuff about it because lately i've been doing different types of videos gameplay stuff like that and you guys don't seem to be liking it so this is just me giving out a rant to tell you to keep watching my videos keep liking i'm doing a giveaway on this SSD, this M.2 SSD, which cost me $59.99 on overclocks.co.uk. Now make sure you keep watching the video. I'm going to have this in the description. It's going to be as long as I get 3,000 likes. If I don't get 3,000 likes, none of you are getting one. So there, that's tough. Now, this is Welshie. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Dislike, comment, whatever. Also, if you're looking for a PC... If you're looking for the best services in the United Kingdom at this time, go to overclockers.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description. What a noble, noble gaming chair, office chair. They've got sales on at the moment. £100 off a gaming noble chair, which if anyone in the PC community knows, a noble chair is the best quality for a PC chair. Now, this is my rant over. This is Welshie out. Goodbye.